In this video, we're talking about macros. Think about macros as a one quick button shortcut that you can create to do multiple actions in an instant. For example, think about bringing a lower third in on screen. You first need to drag the image into the media player. Then you need to set your downstream keyer to the proper media player. Then you fade the downstream keyer on screen and after a period of time, you fade the graphic back off screen. This is a lot of button presses and clicking around. You can now save time by making this into a macro. This is great for the A10 Mini Extreme user because there are six programmable macro buttons, but you can also use the built-in digital macro keypad or buy an Elgato Stream Deck to have more physical buttons. Let's start in the ATEM software control with an ATEM powered on and plugged in. In the very top menu bar, you'll see a macros button or you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift, Command, and the letter M on a Mac. Here, you'll see two sections. The Create section, which allows you to create macros, and the Run section to execute a macro. In this example, I'll use the Create tab and click a blank cell in the macro panel below, then the plus sign. In this new window, name the macro and write any notes if you so choose. I'm going to call mine lower third and click record. Once I've done that, there is now a red box around the software control panel, meaning every button press and action is being recorded. Since this macro is to bring a lower third up on screen, I'll begin in the media tab and drag my lower third into media player two. You can use media player one, but I reserve that for full screen graphics or I can head over to the main home screen, select the Media Player tab, and under Media Player 2, I'll choose the proper media. Both functions work the same way. Click on the Palettes tab, and under the Downstream Key section, we can choose Keyer 1. Set the Fill Source to Media Player 2, and the Key Source to Media Player 2 Key. Then click Auto under the Downstream Keyer 1 column to fade the graphic on screen. Now we could stop here, but since this is a macro and I want it to do the hard work for me, I'm going to select the Add Pause option at the top of the screen. This will make sure the graphic stays on screen for a set period of time which I can dictate. The Add Pause feature can work with single frames or full seconds of duration. I'll set the pause to be five seconds, and then I'll click auto again on the downstream keyer to fade the lower third off screen. I'll select the record button to stop the recording, and we can test our macro by going to the run tab. I'll hit the recall and run button, so I only need to click the macro once instead of needing to click the macro and then the play button to activate it. I'll choose my macro and then watch as the magic unfolds. The image should now fade on screen, stay on screen for five seconds, and then fade off screen all at the press of a button. You can also use macros one through six by pressing the button on the ATEM itself. Beyond six, you'll need to use the macro keys in the software control or an external device. If you realize it didn't work, you'll need to re-record the macro. This is just one of the many ways you can leverage a macro to save time and make life easier during a congested live stream. That's all for this ATEM Quick Tip. See you next time.